for Gush and Drip. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day by day probability model. So, let's start off with the tunnel analysis on the 100 shirt. We're dipping into negative MACD territory. And as with the 400 shirt, we are main in negative MACD, seeing signs of a diverge. We're resting right along the 200 moving average, this green line, and that is at a price of $156.94. And as with the daily chart, we are in slightly positive MACD, but dipping into negative MACD territory. As with the trade idea, my trade position size for is less than 1% of my portfolio. And my entry is at $133.79. My sell target is at $168.11, and that is this range here. My stop loss is at $125.91. And as for drip, it closed above 5.3% 5, 5 on Friday. As with the 100 chart, we're approaching back to pause MACD. We did bounce right off the 200 moving average, this green line, and that is at a price of $22.53. As with the 4 hour chart, we are in slightly positive MACD. And as with the daily chart, we remain in negative MACD territory. And as with the trade idea, my trade position size for is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $20.42, and that is this range here. My sell target is at $26.61. And that is this range there that coincides with the 50 day moving average, this yield line. My stop loss is at $18.41. So, how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day by day probability model, and we're examining XOP. Gush is a leveraged version of XOP, while Drip is an inverse leverage of XOP, so do keep in mind of that. As we progress to the fifth day, or week of trading, XOP has a 38% chance to climb between 0 to 8%. To the downside, it has a 38% chance to fall between 0 to negative 8%, and a 25% chance to fall between negative 8 to negative 16%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.